A computer can become slow for one of several reasons, or, sometimes a combination of reasons. Usually, if there is something disagreeable happening inside your Windows operating system, the PC tells us by slowing down. Sometimes it'll give us other signals, such as errors and crashes. Often, repairing this slow computer simply means fixing the PC's Windows registry files, which have become corrupted. First, in your quest to fix a slow computer is to look and see if you have a lot of programs opened. If you do, just close a couple of them and see if that makes a difference. This probably sounds like too easy of a PC fix. However, like the TV repairman who asks the customer over the phone if she is sure the TV set is plugged in before he comes out to repair it, we always start with the easy stuff. Also, check your system tray. This is in the lower right-hand corner of your computer screen. Whenever you add a new program, the Windows installer program will ask if you want the particular software to open automatically each time the Windows operating system starts. We always seem to answer this question in the affirmative, even if we are not aware we are answering such a question. It happens to me, all the time. Just look in the system tray and right-click each icon. If it gives you an option to close the program, click on that option. Sometimes, you have to start up the program and go to Settings, or Options, to find an option that will stop the program from loading at startup automatically. Don't worry about the fact you are closing these programs. You can always start up any program at any time by going to Start All Programs. Next in the process of repairing a computer that has slowed down is the issue of registry corruption. If closing programs doesn't get your computer's speak back, there is like about a 98% chance your computer is suffering from registry corruption. The registry, a unique part of Windows operating systems, has a tendency to become full of bits of information it no longer uses. This picture is what a registry looks like when running the Windows program, Reg, Edit. Never change anything in your registry using this program. An information overload in your registry will make your computer use all its resources to do very little. This additional in the way information gives your computer a lot of extra work to do just to be able to perform basic tasks. So, naturally your computer will respond by becoming slow and error prone. It will also be liable to crash for no apparent reason. Fortunately, when we clean the registry with a good registry cleaner, these errant bits of information will be removed. So, the computer will no longer be slow. Bottom line is, you can only do so much by yourself to keep your computer from slowing down. After you've closed all you can close and after you've gotten to the point there are only a couple of much needed icons in the system tray, you need to call on help from the outside world to aid you in getting your computer back up to speed. Usually, it is the registry cleaner that answers your call for help. Of course, viruses and spyware will also slow down your computer, but you probably already have a spyware slash virus cleaner running on your computer. If not, there is good news. Clicking the link below will bring you to a page that tells you how to get a free registry scan with the registry cleaner. That is also a virus and spyware cleaner. You can click the link now. It is the one that says scanregistryfree.com.